Hey guys, my name is Delta Key and welcome back to Cave Story Plus. Our mission today is what usually gives people a lot of trouble, saving Curly Brace. And I'm here to guide you through all the hardships of helping our only comrade and the best goal in the game. The first choice you need to make is here in the labyrinth. If you followed my walkthrough so far, you know you can jump down and get boost to version 08. But there is another way, you can jump to the other side. Save first, because if you fall down, your only choice is to reload the save. Getting to the other side is tricky, but I've marked the jumping point on the image here, and it should help you nail it. The second important thing is finding a tow rope. Once you reach the core, do not speak with Curly and go to the right. You'll find something shining there. Take the object to get a tow rope and a steam achievement for it. You will drown again and the text will appear. This is normal. Losing consciousness. Did you know the woman named Jenka had a younger brother? His name was Balis. Like his older sister, he had magical powers unlike anyone could imagine. You can breathe. Now interact with Curly and choose yes to carry her on your back. Get the guard's oxygen. Defib kit. Adrenaline and a 10 cc syringe. Some heating blankets. You got all that? Got it. Over. Our second trial is the waterways. Now, don't do what I did here and get rid of the jellyfish first. Once you catch the current and get to this little entrance here, you'll start going up and down. If you try to just squeeze through, you'll get washed to the level downside and Curly will die. So the way to get through is to face left and hold down the left and up arrow. This way you won't fall after entering. This jump here is also quite tricky, and I remember struggling with it a lot when I first attempted it. The jumping point is again marked on the image. Once you enter the room, go to the bed and choose yes. You will rest together with Curly. When you wake up, check the computer on the right. The text on screen tells you about some findings in the notebook. This notebook lies in the second bookcase. The notebook is covered in dust. Open it? Yes. Robots manufactured on the surface have limited aquatic mobility. In the case of flooding, the system will automatically initiate a shutdown to prevent from short-circuiting. Below are instructions on how to service flooded robots. Learned how to service flooded robots. Flooded systems will begin a reboot process automatically after using the above method of draining. Drain the water from Curly? Yes. You're safe! Oh, I'm glad. I thought you were a gunner. You lost consciousness and I couldn't think of anything to do about it. So I gave you my air tank. It worked, didn't it? Ugh. She fell asleep. 
Curly reboots. Now be sure to interact with her again and choose now to take her with you. If you leave her in the shack, she will just die. Now we can defeat Ironhead and get to the Mimica village. Hmm. Oh, it's just you. The doctor has amassed the red flowers. All the mimic on the island have now fallen under his grip. Tragedy is inevitable. Had I known these events would transpire, then I should have at least had you escape from the island. Obtain the booster version 2. Please honor my final request. If you see Sue one last time, please take her and escape from the island. She's Dr. Sakamoto's daughter. For the longest time, she has resisted coming to this island. But she couldn't be left behind all alone. She had no choice but to follow us to the island. Please, take her and escape. Now you have received an enhanced booster version 2. Equip it in the items menu. This booster also has a limited fuel supply, but you can use it to quickly dash in four directions. Use the booster to get up to the first cave and get the spur, as always. If you have trouble with it, consult the video in the upper right corner. Now, before we get to the plantation, there is one more item we can now grab on the outer walls. Remember the chest that wouldn't open up? Now you can, and you'll get the 290 counter, which serves as a timer for speedruns. Something is inscribed on the counter. This I present to you, the challenger, in anticipation of your determination. Show me your best. Now it's plantation time. In the plantation, go down the tunnel on the right, then speak with Curly and Cthulhu. This girl fell down near the spring. She doesn't remember who she is. Probably scrap metal now. Just one thing. I've heard about some kind of special mushroom that supposedly helps recover one's memory if eaten. I wonder if that'll maybe work on this poor girl too. Our next goal is to find the mushroom Katul told us about. It is in the cemetery. In order to get there, return to the portal room where you get taken to jail and teleport to Mimega village. Mapignon is a very crafty mushroom and he will try to trick you. You got some business with me? Huh, amnesia. Oh, that's terrible. Do you want the mushroom badge? But you don't really need it then. You do want it? You really want it no matter what. Then you don't need it. Well then, I'll give it to you. Once you get the badge, check your inventory to find out it's worthless. Ah, found me out. That's just a normal badge. Hmm. Say what? You say you're going to eat me? I'm a very, very valuable mushroom and the only one in this cave too. Snap! Don't think for one minute that I'll let you eat me without me putting up a fight. It's on! The fight with Mapinion is rather simple, but he can hurt. He only has three attacks, landing you forward, summoning fallen stones and getting clones, which you can damage along with the real shroom. Once you get the mushroom, get back to Curly and stuff it in her mouth. Mm. Quote! Now you remember, your name's Quote. You and I are... Well... 
before a great number of us robots were sent to this island. We were sent by the countries of the surface. The purpose of the mission it was the incredible slumbering power found on this floating island. It was also about the demon crown. But you and I were different. We were sent on mission to destroy that power. The island, it was in a mess when we landed. Ravaged by the robots. The murderous scores of poor little Mimiga. It was horrible. And finally, one man seized the demon crown. The robot's mission was complete and the island fell totally silent. But that was simply the beginning of the tragedy. The man who was able to capture the crown turned the Mimic into beasts. And they began attacking the surface. I faced him and tried my best to defeat him. You're with me then. That's all I can remember. The crown bearer was surely injured by both our attacks that time. How about you? Can you recall something? Anything? I'm fine now. Don't worry about me. Oh. Here. Please keep this. Her memory is back. Well, it's not very exciting. Congratulations, you've saved Curly Brace. This is the first step towards the best ending of the game. If this video helped you, leave a like and comment down below, and subscribe to this channel for more content to come. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode, where we tackle the nightmare version of the final cave.